I'm tracking mostly dry weather right now as you take a live look up at Schweitzer Basin and they've done a nice job at all the area ski resorts to uh, kind of uh, keep these uh, resorts operating well and grooming the runs and after we got those warmer temperatures and even a little bit of rain. Matter of fact, a little bit later on in the broadcast, I'll have your uh, snow report for you. This is a look at Snoqualmie Pass right now. The roadway is in pretty good shape as you can see, just mostly wet uh, down in Colfax. We actually had sunshine down there earlier today before the sun set, so I th that's why I kind of included that. Obviously, the roadway is in good shape. Heck, down in Pullman, we're at 38 degrees. It's 34 now in Spokane. Colder up north, you see Deer Park at 31. Sandpoint checking in at 32 degrees. Over the next 12 hours, fog and low clouds expected into the overnight period with lows getting down close to freezing. I think we're going to get down to about 32 or 31 tonight. Uh, and then when you look at the satellite and radar picture, the storm track, as you can see, moving well to the north of us up into the Gulf of Alaska. So actually just an area of high pressure beginning to form over the Pacific Northwest. And as I mentioned earlier, when you get that sinking air that uh, happens with high pressure, that's conducive this time of year to low clouds and fog forming. We take a look at the future tracker computer model 630 tomorrow morning, dense fog and low clouds, less than a quarter mile visibility expected in some areas. Uh, we're not looking anything for at least the computer model, not suggesting any precipitation precipitation at all. We'll look for daytime highs to climb into the upper 30s in Grand Coulee, mid 30s in Moses Lake, 34 expected in Deer Park, 38 the high in Spokane after a morning low of 32. We'll see 30 the overnight low in Colville and then a daytime high of 35. Seven day forecast calling for 36 and cloudy on Saturday, more clouds on Sunday and 38 degrees. Take a look at Monday. That's uh, Martin Luther King Day. We'll look for a high of 39. So for many folks, including the kids three day weekend and we may see a couple of 40s on Tuesday and Thursday of next week.